So uh, we've, we've launched and, and now have active uh, over 1,500 satellites. Um, let's see, the, I mean, there are a few interesting stats. The, the combined power of all the satellites is over five megawatts. So there, um, there's over five megawatts of solar from, from all the satellites combined. Uh, it's, um, they're capable of outputting about 30 terabits per second of uh, data. And, um, and, and it is starting in, uh, actually next month, um, almost, almost next month, I should say, starting in August, uh, we should have uh, global connectivity uh, for everywhere except the poles. Um, I know, as I said, it's, it's, it's really meant for uh, sparsely populated uh, regions. Um, so the, because uh, our, our spot size, talking, talking in terms of cellular, is uh, quite big. So we're well suited to low to medium density areas, but, but not to high density areas. Uh, in the high density areas, we will be able to uh, serve a limited number of customers. Um, and um, but, but it is operational. Um, we recently passed the strategically notable number of uh, 69,420 active uh, users. Um, and we are, I think, on our way to having a few hundred thousand uh, users, uh, possibly uh, over 500,000 users um, within uh, 12 months. So I think it's, it's, growing, it's growing rapidly. Um, and we're continuing to innovate the user terminal and the, uh, the satellite and the, uh, the ground stations and uh, sort of gateways and points of presence. Um, I think we're operational now in about 12 countries uh, and uh, more, more being added every month, 6,000 kilometers. So latency for a satellite system is uh, similar to latency for ground-based uh, fiber and uh, and 5G. So we're anyway. So it's basically t total investment, probably is like at least five, maybe ten billion dollars, and then um, over time, it's going to be made, it's, it's a some multiple of that. I don't know. It could be twenty or thirty billion over time. There's a lot, basically. Yeah. It is a lot of money. Um, and to recruit yeah. that investment, obviously, you need customers and subscribers, Elon. Do you think of Starlink as filling in the gaps between uh, 5G uh, and uh, fiber and um, and really getting to the parts of the world that are the, the hardest to reach, the, 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 the most difficult to reach, uh, 3%, possibly 5%. Um, and I think it really quite nicely complements uh, fiber and uh, and 5G.